Hey, Jeff, you like crime? You want to do some crime? Oh, jeez. Jeff, do you want to do some crime? Don't worry about sweetheart. Welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and New York gangsters. Yeah, New York gangsters. Do you like crime? We're doing a lot of crime around here, see? <laughs> I feel like we're just like combining a bunch of different accents here. I think we are. What was the UC thing? I don't know if yeah, that was. <laughs> we are here again today to do another pumped up Kickstarter. And today's Kickstarter is going to be on Omerta. The five families. It give you awful. No kind of food. You know. I can't refuse. Omer to the Five Families is the newest release from Vesuvius Media, who just happens to be sponsoring this video and who just happens to be a publisher from our city. Local. Which you love to see. You do love to so see So thank it. you to Vesuvius Media for sponsoring this preview. As per usual, with our preview videos, we are going to give you a little overview of the game, then we're going to jump into a discussion to help you figure out whether or not this is a good game for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we're doing here, and maybe we're doing a little bit of crime. I mean, we'll, we'll, don't worry about us. Don't worry about us. That's the only thing I know. Don't worry about us. We have. Omerta, the five families. You step into the shoes of the leader of one of the notorious crime families that emerged in early 20th century New York City. Your primary goal is to accumulate funds through illicit activities, using money to recruit capos, expand your territory, and invest in profitable legal ventures. This cash flow also empowers you to bribe law enforcement, acquire necessary weapons, and secure assets essential for steering the course of events. Manipulate media coverage by paying off newspapers to enhance your reputation, as respect is crucial for success in your endeavors. Navigating the intricate web of relationships with rival crime families becomes a delicate dance. Eliminate hostile family leaders strategically, all the while avoiding conflicts with your allies. The challenge lies in managing these delicate alliances to ensure your family's dominance. When working with other crime bosses, you can try to present an offer they can't refuse, testing the limits of power and negotiation. Success hinges on your ability to maintain respect, as a revered reputation enhances your chances of emerging victorious in this high-stakes underworld. We're back! The game is up here, just like Mafia Magic. Bottom of the Hudson. Bottom of the Hudson River. <laughs> We're so sorry. We're going to try to stop uh, the accents. Okay, so Amer to the Five Families is, believe it or not, about the five families, mm -hmm. mafia families, which are from the early, like the start of the 20th century. Got okay, it. so this game is in a, New York. Exactly. Welcome to New York. Mm -hmm. Who are the families? You think I have them memorized? Genovese, Banano, Gambino, Gambino, Colombo, and Lucchese. Exactly. They're Italian. So this game is a scenario-based game where you are kind of like playing out scenarios that like happened mm -hmm. for these families. The game is for two to five players. Some of the scenarios are for different player counts. So I just mm -hmm. wanted to throw that out there. Like there's one that's for two players only. There's one that's for three to five. There's one that's for two to five. And like, you can kind of pick bunch. and choose which ones exactly. you want to play. You don't have to play them yeah. in like sequential order. Mm -hmm. Some of the scenarios are going to have like lighter rule sets. So there is an introductory yep. scenario that you can play. And then some of them you're playing with everything and a little bit of a mix and match. Correct. So essentially how this game works is you're going to select the scenario that you want to play. Based on the number of players, it is going to tell you which of the five families to play with. Mm -hmm. So as an example, the uh, Genovese and the Banano players are essentially in like... I bet you it's Genovese. Game. Exactly. 
But no, no. Exactly. I, I can't stop doing this. <laughs> we can't stop. Like, it, try. Try to stop us. We can't. So you're going to be playing as whichever of these families that um, are used for, like, that certain number. So in a two-player game, it's the Genovese and the mm. Banana. I tried to, not to say Banana. Anyways, what are you doing? Well, that's, I think, pretty obvious. You're doing crime. You're doing crime right? stuff. There's illegal activities. You're bribing there's, newspapers. There's legal activities, too. Let's be fair. Sure. Stuff, some stuff is above board. You are bribing newspapers and cops, and you are, it's kind of like a turf war, essentially. So, like, when you think about all the families, they kind of go through all these different levels of relations. So, mm -hmm. once again, depending on the scenario that you're playing out and the objective, because each scenario has its own objective. Mm -hmm. So, you are kind of working through your relations with these other families. So, you might start off as friends. Yeah. Maybe even allies. But if you do something to them... Maybe you're neutral. Oh, you do a little bit. Maybe you're hostile. Mm -hmm. And if you attack, well, then you're at war. Yeah. So there's varying degrees of relationships with these families. And there is a part of this game in some of the scenarios where you actually, like, kind of negotiate that between yourselves. Mm -hmm. So if Jeff and I are two families, we might be like, hey, listen, I've got some cards in my hand that could really benefit you. Mm -hmm. If you help me out later, I'll play this for you mm -hmm. now. And then you can be like, all right, then we're friends. Because some cards are more beneficial. They're all randomized. Yes. But some cards are more beneficial for certain families. Yes. So Jamie could have a bunch of cards that I need for my family. So she'd be like, hey, hey. Don't, don't worry about us. We are. Don't worry about I got you. Mm. Okay. Anyways, so each scenario is going to give you a story. It's going to give you a plot. It's going to give you some objectives of winning. Mm -hmm. So it might be like whoever, you know, kills the most people or whoever like owns the most territory or whoever does X, Y, Z. It really depends on the scenario. So mm -hmm. you are going to play over a varied number of rounds depending on the scenario in order to fulfill those objectives. What I will say just to start this is definitely a heavy game, okay? This yeah. is not like a lightweight medium game. There are a lot of rules there's a in lot this of, game. There's a lot of nuance mm -hmm. and uh, dependencies and triggers and mm -hmm. there's a lot to do in, in, uh, in both actions mm -hmm. that are selected, mm -hmm. phases that are happening, and in between rounds. There's, there's a lot going on in this game. It is very in-depth mm -hmm. in terms of what would actually be happening between these families. Exactly. So essentially how it's going to work is you're going to start off with like a story phase. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned before, each scenario is going to come with story cards. So you're going to flip it, you're going to read it, you're going to do whatever it says. It could be like, hey, put a few tokens out here. Um, these areas are affected. You have to pay extra to move into them, whatever. And it's going to give you a little bit of story behind that. It's actually going to give you some like real story mm -hmm. behind like when it happened and why it happened and all these things then in some scenarios but not all you're going to go into a commission phase and that is where you're doing that negotiation that we were just talking about it's like hey i'm gonna help you out you help me later let's be friends you're trying to say that and i will say you can lie mm -hmm. of course i mean it's the mafia exactly. hey i might tell you i'm gonna help you but sucker guess what I'm not. And then you're going to go into a bribing phase. And the bribing phase is where you're actually bribing newspapers because you want to get a little bit of respect. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then you're also bribing the police. So you're like, hey, I'm paying you. Protect my assets. Exactly. Protect my areas. Exactly. So as you're bribing the newspapers, like I mentioned, you're doing that to gain respect because respect is a huge part of this game. It's a huge part in, like, the mafia yeah, history it, and the lore. Yeah. And so you, you want, want to be well-known family. Exactly. So you want to be well-known. You want to whatever. So you're bribing the newspaper. Whoever puts in the biggest bribe gets respect. Whoever puts in the littlest bribe loses respect because mm -hmm. that's just how life works. With the police, you're actually bribing the police to maybe like turn a blind eye. Maybe they're on your side a little bit. And you actually get a little police token that you could put into one of your areas that kind of gives you a little bit of strength during battle, which we'll talk about later. Probably a good time to mention the board portion of this... It's New York. Is New York. Yes. Uh, there is New Jersey. Yes, um, because one of the families controls Jersey. But I will just mention the primary focus is a big area control-ish type map. Exactly. Just to give context yeah. for everything. And each one of the like mafia families 
has a section of New York that they control. Mm -hmm. So like the Genovese family controls Manhattan, Bonanno controls Brooklyn, yep. et cetera. So there's Queens, there's, mm -hmm. and one of them controls Jersey, all of this stuff. Yep. So anyways, the next phase is the recruiting phase. And that is where you are recruiting capos into your locations. So there are three different kinds of like workers in this game. There's capos, which have one strength. There's street bosses, which have three. And then there's the godfather. Okay, it's everybody's five. got a godfather. He's got five strength. Every area of the board can only hold a maximum of seven. seven. Strength, yeah. Okay, so if you're, you just have to do a little bit of math. The only other, it's not hard math. The only other uh, figure is influencers. Is that what they're called? No, they're uh, like. Family supporters. Supporters. Let's call them supporters. Supporters. Call them supporters. And they'll be in areas, and those supporters allow you basically to put other things in those areas. Exactly. If, yeah. If you have them there, you can yes. manipulate it. So in the recruiting phase, you are recruiting capos to your area. The capos are going to cost a certain amount of money, 10K, unless you get to a certain point on the board, and then you have to start paying 25K. Mm -hmm. It's a whole thing, but just know you got to pay your people. The other thing that you're going to be doing in this phase is buying action cards. And action cards are very important. Um, there are standard and then there are advanced. The action cards are going to let you do... What Stuff. Else? Actions, exactly. So all of, there's no like set amount of action points for people in this game. Whatever action card you kind of play out or whatever plot card you play out is going to be giving you action points. And then you can also play out action cards. So you're buying some action cards. Then we're going into the meat and potatoes of the game. And that is the plots and action phase. So secretly, each player is going to select a plot card from their hand and they're going to put it face down. Mm -hmm. Now the plot cards... Everybody's going to flip them up at the same time and kind of you're going in turn order. But the plot cards are going to give you a little story, a little bit of a plot. And then they're also going to give either one or multiple families some kind of a little benefit. And this is where that negotiation piece comes in where you're like, hey, I got a card that can help you. OK, mm -hmm. those are the plot cards. So you're going to play it out. You're going to fulfill the action, whether it's you or somebody else is going to fill out the ability. And then next to that ability or a neutral spot is going to be how many action points you get for that round. Mm -hmm. It's ranging everywhere from like one to five, mm -hmm. okay? So you are playing those out. Then we're going into the action phase, okay? The action phase is where you are spending those action points, believe it or not. There are a lot of different actions, but like this is kind of the piece where you're moving, you're fighting, you're playing out action cards which have action abilities on them that you can mm -hmm. fulfill. You might be relocating your family. You are doing all these things. This is also a part of the game where you have to reorganize, meaning that if your street boss and your godfather are not on the board, you got to get them back onto yeah, the board. Yeah, they're always back. They never like leave the game. They're always yeah, available you know, you to you. Godfather can't be killed. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he can, but you take, out, take out the capos first. Yeah. That's just smart mafia to mm -hmm. me. So the action phase, you're going to be doing all of those things. Um, the biggest piece of this is like the battle. So if you're moving, you can move kind of freely through the board with your people, depending on like where you're moving, basically. Like or you can move friendly. freely through like your friends, you can move freely through your own locations. But if you move into a contentious spot, meaning it's hostile, um, or you're at war with those people, you stop immediately, and we got a fight on our hands. Okay, we got a fight. Now the battle phase Maybe itself. Like... It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I'm not going down for this. <laughs> <laughs> so in the battle phase, there are five phases to the battle this phase. This is where we mentioned there's a lot of steps and there's procedures. There's a lot of nuance to, to this. going on through, the, through this game. Exactly. Yeah. So within the battle phase, you are, number one, there's battle reaction cards that you can play. Mm -hmm. So some of those action cards have like a little block that say battle reaction. Guess what? At the beginning, in your preparation phase, boom. That's how you do it. Then you are going to be going back and forth playing out action cards. Um, some of them have abilities on them, but mostly they have like a certain amount of strength. And then you're going to total your strength as the attacker versus the strength of the defender. For every like 10 points of strength, you are going to be doing some kind of damage. And mm -hmm. then you're also going to be doing damage between the difference mm -hmm. of those attacks. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to be taking your casualties or removing people from the board etc etc there's cleanup and stuff so you're fighting okay because you know that's what mafia do it's just what they do 
And then we're gonna go into an income phase and a turn order phase. So there's income based on like a racketeering track that you have on the board. There's also like actions that you're gonna be able to do for legal activities that are gonna help you get money and illegal investments and all of these different things. But in the income phase, you are kind of gaining your income based on those racketeers as mm -hmm. well as your legal investments. And then we are essentially going to be removing the storyline that we started with and then boom, we're playing another one and you're into a new round. That's the game. Yep. In the smallest nutshell that we could possibly have, mm -hmm. but this is a very meaty game. So it's speaking meaty, of yeah. that, who is this game for? I think this game is for uh, anyone that is into the theme because, again, like... There's a bunch of history wrapped there, into this. This is a very <clears throat> thematic, very immersive experience if mm -hmm. you're into the theme and into actually feeling like you're playing as one of these families. Mm -hmm. This game is for you. Yes. That being said, if you're looking for lighter or medium weight heaviness, I mm -hmm. think this is maybe one not for you. But if you like complexity, if you like procedural kind of interaction with a game and a bit of story, mm -hmm. this is definitely one to check, check out because there's a lot you can do in this game. Yeah. There's a lot of tracks you can manipulate, like Jamie mentioned, the investments, the racketeering. Respect. Respect track. Loyalty. There's a whole track about your relationship with all the other families. Um, and again, like the attacking section has a procedure you go through. It's meaty. Yes. I do, and I want to say it's meaty without being something that is like brain, brain burning. Yeah. It's just a lot. There's just a lot of steps. Everything makes sense. Yeah. It's just that there is There's a, a lot. lot of things to go yeah. through. It's not that it's overly complicated. It's just a lot. Yes. It's a lot. So if you do not like high interaction, mm -hmm. this might not be a game for you because this is a very, there's a lot, there's, there's negotiation. There's a lot of communication. Yeah. There's a lot of communication. There is a lot of fighting. Um, there's all of these things. This is a very high interaction game. So if you just like working on your own little solo puzzle, well, then you walk right by, okay? Because mm -hmm. it's not for you. Yep. Okay, so if you enjoy the high interaction though, and if you really like to kind of get into it, I feel like this is a game that you could like get into. Everybody comes to the table, they're dressed up, they bring their best New York accent. It also you know? is a time investment. Yes, depending the, on the scenario. Yeah. But even the smaller intro is, 60 minutes. is an hour. Mm hmm and it kind of goes up from there. So keep that in mind as well. It's, it's, For sure. This is an experience. This yes. game is an experience to play. Exactly. And very much feels like an experience. Yes. So if any of those things sound like something that you might not be interested in, well, then it might not be mm -hmm. for you. But if it does sound like something that you're interested in, well, look mm -hmm. no further. Yeah. Become a crime family. In mere seconds. Okay. Now, as always, we do recommend that you go and do all of your research, watch lots of reviews, playthroughs, um, other preview videos to make sure whether or not this is a game for you. But mm -hmm. all of the information is going to be linked for you down below. So make sure that you go and check it out to see what it's all about. Indeed. And that is Omerta, the Five Families Kickstarter. But if you want other board games, you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us, that is... The Boardroom Game Cafe. Heck yeah, it is. Do you like snacks? I do. Perfect. Where do people get snacks? Lunch pack. Exactly. If you like what you see... Please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye! Later it is. Beans! Beans! The musical dog. You look like you're in the summer. And I look like I'm in the winter. Don't worry about sweetheart. Does somebody say crime? <laughs> Stop looking at me, you see? Uh. <laughs> crime. Okay. Now, now, now. If the salad's on the side, I send it back. The sauce comes on, on top, I send it back. I send it back. And it's not even. <laughs> we got a, uh, what was that movie, The Departed? The, no, they're Boston. Oh, they're Boston. You well, need to do like Goodfellas. Then. Goodfellas. I've never seen it. You think I'm funny? You saying I'm funny? Uh, is that like, amusing to you? Like the guy in Home Alone, Joe Pesci. Do you find... <laughs> that's who I'm quoting, Joe oh. Pesci. <laughs> We're back in the I game. Did, I did like a weird thing at the end. Like, I'm funny? I'm like, funny? Like, almost like I was in the <laughs> Don't you the think Midwest. I'm funny? Don't care. <laughs> like Scottish. We're not good at accents. We're not. <laughs>